Now, to create a sub theme is easy. In fact, Bootstrap theme already provided the starter kits for you to create a sub theme. Now again, it's important that we create a sub theme as I mentioned this many times in my previous videos, so that we can make our own changes and overridings as we like on the sub theme itself, instead of doing it on the base theme directly. Now this will prevent our changes made with theme from being overwritten when there is an upgrade done to our base theme. All right? Now let's go to our Drupal site folder. Now the folder structure in Drupal 8 is a bit different from Drupal 7. Now the theme folder is located at the root directory this time. It's here. Right? So let's go to our themes, bootstrap, starter kits. There are two starter kits here. So one for CDN and another for less. If you want to add your own source files and overwrite some CS styles using less, then less starter kit is for you. You can check it out the documentation on how to produce your own sub theme with less starter kit. Now for this demo, we'll create a sub theme with CDN starter kit, the easiest and the recommended one for the beginner or for building a simple website. So let's copy the whole CDN starter kit folder here, back to a themes folder, and paste it here. Now let's rename this folder to our own sub theme name. As usual, I will name it as Bootstrap Sub Theme. You can name it your own as you like, but you must remember this name as you need to use it to rename several other files after this. Now go to the Sub Theme folder and look for theme name.starterkit.yml, which is your YAML file. Now we will rename this again to Bootstrap Sub Theme dot info dot yml so you must include this dot yml after dot info this is your yaml extension so it should be bootstrap sub theme dot info dot yml right now besides this we need to rename every other file that has this name called theme name right so we need to rename this one as well as this so let's quickly rename it this library file as well. Now if you notice, there's a YAML extension .yml missing here at the end for this version. Now we will add it back. So the full name should be bootstrap sub -theme .libraries .yml. Now there's still one more place you need to rename. Let's open this .info file in your text editor. Right? So let's go to themes folder. Bootstrap sub theme and open this dot info file. Now under libraries, let's rename again this one to your sub theme name. That's all. You can also make some changes here to the theme like name or description and add your regions and CSS and JavaScript here as you like. Now let's say it. let's rename this uh, description to make it more descriptive okay let's save the file back to our Drupal site flash the cache first all right let's go to appearance scroll down now you will see your sub theme here let's install and set as default now let's go to the home page take a look and you can see the bootstrap sub theme is being used now, but it's in plain layout. So their setting need to be configured. Let's check it out. Let's go to appearance again. Settings. Now here you can see, when you first turn on the sub theme, there's no default settings configured at this time of recording, as I can see here. Now, so you have to reconfigure it yourself to your own preference. If you are not sure which to turn on and which not to, you can follow all the settings in your base theme and adjust later. Now I will leave that to you, right? 
Now to make your sub theme works properly, you have at least turned on your CDN to link to your bootstrap files like CSS and JavaScript. So we go to advanced tab here, uh, choose the version, and I will choose the version here, the latest one, right? And scroll down, save it. So let's go to the front end, flush the catch. Great, now the theme is back. Now you can continue to configure other settings following the base theme so that you can use other features which provided to you. Now let's resize the browser. Click on the left bar button. Yes, great. That's all. So do remember to subscribe to our channel for more sharing to come.